Okay, this video is a tutorial video, so if you are a mortal and not a wet plater, then you might come back next week as when I will be doing some serious top shit photography with some seriously clean Sylvanie trade. Hey, I just returned from, um, from Berlin where I had like a five day workshop. We made 50 plates and with every single plate you're bringing some stuff, organic matter also known as uh, into into the silver bath and this video will be how to actually cleanse your silver so for cleansing silver first you need to first you need to have a hairband apron safety goggles and gloves there are two ways how to cleanse the, cleanse the silver one is um, simple and the other one is resetting like deep resetting of silver we will do both of them if your silver smells like ether and alcohol needs to be sunned but if, but if your plates have black dots you know that means it's too much iodine in your silver bath and sunning just doesn't help it has to be washed not washed it has to be <sighs> boiled this we will only sun meaning walk like an egyptian Why you need the paper is because the ether can go out and alcohol and the insects cannot go in. I mean, uh, we live in anthropocentric society, which means, you know, that they, in news media, you will never read that, you know, there are so many suicidal insects that they want to go in and just burn themselves. And this is, we don't want to do that, you know. They can go and take their windshield, you know, and just like be smushed there, you know, not in my silver, sorry, not in my silver. And now just put on the sun and leave it for a day or two, 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 better two. It's, it's very important to keep your silver away from the other people and, you know, kids and, and other, you know, safety first. Okay, after sunning you have to filter it really well, add some silver nitrate in your solution and if you by any chance you add too much silver, you know, just add a little bit of water and dilute it and it will be fine. Resetting silver for, with boiling, actually it's kind of, it's a little bit more complicated but not really. You need several things. Of course, silver that you don't want to boil. You need a pot, stainless steel. You need uh, baking soda, nitric acid. I would suggest electronic pH meter. I mean, uh, these uh, strips, they're so-so. You need a silver nitrate to measure the gravity of silver, a measuring valve, and optionally also uh, kaolin. Put everything that you have. Silver go up. Silver go up. Demons go away. Demons go away. Then we take some baking soda and put it inside. The pH should be around six. And now we we are boiling it. You need to boil 50 to 70 percent of uh, water out. Okay. Um, now the fill, now the silver looks like you know, like it's dead. You know, basically, it looks like the end of your wet plate career. But don't panic. This will this will clear. This will clear really nicely. So what I do usually, I just top up. To the initial initial uh, level, which was 950. Okay, let's. Uh, I will do it like 700, and then I will top up. Please do wear a safety goggles because this is concentrated silver. You know, one drop of this. This might be. After boiling, this might be like 20, 25 percent, and it's really, really concentrated, and that's why very reactive. So, protect yourself. Okay, uh, now we have to filter uh, the silver nitrate really well and but by with only one filtering you don't get all the particles out so you need to sun it again after 
after sunning it, you have to filter it again. You see how much particles were left uh, after first uh, filtering? Um, and now you have to set up the density, the gravity of me of silver, meaning either you add water or silver nitrate to match your gravity meter, and you're ready to, to fix the pH now. Do you remember I was adding baking soda inside? Well, now when it's measuring, I can explain you why. Uh, by adding soda, baking soda, you're raising pH. And by raising pH, um, the sensibility of silver is also raising. But if you want to have like a reset your silver totally, you have to raise pH to around 3, 6. <laughs> you have to raise about 6 because that will make a silver very, very reactive, very, very unstable. So every single drop will actually will react with the silver and it will wrap in a in the metal and will fall down if you don't raise ph you can leave it on the sun and probably will be okay but because i love to do wet plate cooling on negatives uh, for negatives is really really important it's crucial that you have perfectly clean silver and that's why i i, I do it this way Okay, 6.3, we have to bring it down to 4.5, maybe 5. Two drops of nitric acid in one liter and drop down from 6. What was it? I don't know actually. 6.3 and now it's like 6.5.7. Two more drops. Six drops. Ah! Fuck! Fuck! Six drops is way too. Oh, oh fuck. I, I, I wanted to warn you not to put an, too much silver nitri I mean, uh, nitric acid inside because it's really pain in the ass to bring it up. And I did just that. Of course, you, you, it's fixable. I mean, if you put ammonium inside, it will raise pH, but it will raise only for four days. <laughs> uh, the only way to actually permanently raise it is actually to add again baking soda. Now the pH is kind of perfect and now I'll have to leave it on the sun again. Ah, oh, another sunning. You see, that's why, I mean, ah, usually I do drop by drop and I did like, ah, okay, you know, shit happens. Especially if you do video and this, you know, otherwise it takes me like, yeah, yeah, you can, you can have a laugh, you know, but I'm doing this because of you, you know, I, I've done it a zillion times. Okay, um, so what I've done is actually I clean, cleanse my silver. I prepared two bottles of half a liter um, and one bottle of um, boiled uh, silver. For amber type I have it around 4.3 and for negatives I have around 5. I mean pH, pH of course. You can use for negative or for the positive both of them, uh, but just like it's 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 a it's it's a topic for another video. This video was too long anyway, and plus it's very very geeky. But for you who actually are doing wet plate collodion, this is actually very crucial because in the world of uh, wet plate, uh, there is kind of paranoia to boil silver. I don't know why. I mean, I'm doing it five years. I never ever had a problem. Uh, just don't boil it till the crystals, which actually I've done twice. 
and uh, and of course wear you know goggles, gloves, and everything. You know, silver trade is a dangerous chemical, so you just treat it like that. You know. Okay, this is the list of all the steps in this process, and I hope this was helpful. And now let me share a couple of cheap tricks. I have really one amazing trick. It's a small, but it's amazing. You know, and of course it's from Mark Osterman, you know, who, who other, you know, like he, I learned 90% that I know, I learned from the guy. So the cotton ball, right? When you take it out, usually you just throw it away into the trash, right? What you can do is just squeeze it in. It will be very um, contaminated, but this silver you can actually get out with the help of kaolin. Kaolin is like a very fine powder. A clay uh, that is used for uh, China and actually you can use it also it's used I bought it from a cosmetics saloon or something like that because they have this kaolin to make a uh, face masks because the kaolin is um, it's cl cleanse everything so I used it for my beautiful skin <laughs> And I used it, but it actually, but this is actually true. I used it for digestion problems. I had like some digestion problems, and I took, I don't know, like a big spoon of that and a little bit of baking soda mixed together with water, and I drank it. And actually, it helped. Like, you know, that's the thing, you know. <laughs> but don't miss this. Don't mix this. You know, just label it well if you're <laughs> if you're planning to eat it. Anyway, let me tell you something about gravity meter. Uh, when I was starting my wet plate uh, path, you know, I was looking for a gravity meter that would show me exactly how much, with the scale that would show me exactly how much silver is in my in my in my solution, uh, which is very important actually. And I, I I couldn't found it, and when I found it, it was really expensive. What if I simply take my scale, measure? 45 grams of silver Whoa. Almost exactly 45 grams of silver and then I just add 500 milliliter of distilled water And that's exactly the amount of silver you want to have <coughs> for your wet plate collodion stuff I pour in the solution that I've just made, this ordinary, actually I don't know what's the name in English, but we call it Eproveta, so we put it inside, make a mark where it was floating. So this is the, this is the, the, the amount of silver I need to have in a silver solution to have like perfect 9%. If you're an active wet plater, I'm pretty sure this uh, video will help you a lot. Because I know how bad day, really really bad day happens when your silver nitrate doesn't work. And you know, and on top of that, there is in this wet plate world, there is this paranoia about boiling silver. I really don't know why. Thanks for watching. If you think you owe me a cup of tea, just go on my Patreon page. Either case, let's do not forget, top shit happens.